Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Hello boys and girls, this is Mrs. Casey. I know it's been a while since I've seen you, and I wanted to check in and see how you're all doing. As you can see, I'm ready for Christmas. That's the holiday that I celebrate. But I wanted to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and a Happy Healthy New Year. I hope that we'll get to see some of you more in the new year. Well, let's get ready and sing our good morning song. Are you ready? Here we go. Good morning, good morning, I see your happy smile. Good morning, good morning, let's stay here for a while. Let's clap. We are all at school today. 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 Well, as you can see, I'm wearing a Santa apron today because part of our time together today will be in the kitchen baking peanut butter blossoms. But let's get started with some other fun activities before we head into the kitchen. Well, one of the things that's exciting about Christmas and Hanukkah is that we get presents. So in the past, we used to sing a song about pushing the pumpkin up the hill or pushing a snowball up the hill. I thought we could push a present up the hill. Are you ready? Here we go. Push that present up the hill. Push that present up the hill. Push that present up the hill. It's time for Hanukkah. Oh no, it's rolling down. Roll that present down to town. Roll that present down to town. Roll that present down to town. It's time for Hanukkah. Let's do it again because it's almost Christmas day. Push that present up the hill. Push that present up the hill. Push that present up the hill. It's almost Christmas day. Oh no, it's rolling down. Roll that present down to town. Roll that present down to town. Roll that present down to town. It's almost Christmas day. Oh, it's almost Christmas day. And that means that there's somebody very busy packing up all the toys. Let's sing a song about Santa. Where is Santa? Where is Santa? Here I am. Here I am. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Time to go. Oh, we had to go back and start working. But let's see if we can bring him back one more time. Where is Santa? Where is Santa? Here I am. Here I am. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Time to go. Well, bye-bye, Santa. We know you're busy. And you know, there are some other little people that help Santa his elves. And I have a little fun game that we're going to play with Santa's elves. Now they like to play a trick on Santa and they take his Santa belt and they hide it from him. So we're going to play a game where the elves are going to hide Santa's belt and we're going to try to guess where the belt is hiding. Let's first practice our colors to see if we know all the different colors of the elves. Are you ready? All right. What color is this elf? Did you say blue? You're right. What color is this elf? Did you say red? You're right. What color is this elf? Did you say green? 
You're right again. What color is this elf? Did you say purple? You're right. And what color is this elf? All the way at the end. Did you say yellow? You're right. Well, now you're ready to play our hide and seek game to see if we can find which elf took Santa's belt. It goes like this. Santa's little elves went out to play on a cold December day. One took Santa's belt for a trick. Which little elf do you think you'd pick? Let's take a look. Hmm. How about if we check this elf? What color is this one? Did you say green? You're right. Let's check green. No, no, he didn't take his belt. There's no belt. Let's see. How about red? Which one is red? Did you say this one? You're right. Let's see if the red elf has it. No, there's no belt behind the red elf. Hmm. How about purple? Do you know which one is purple? Did you say this one? You're right. Let's look behind purple. No, still no belt. Well, we have two left. Let's check blue. Which one is blue? Did you say this one? You're right. Still no belt. Well, boys and girls, that only leaves one elf. What color is that elf? Did you say yellow? You're right again. Let's see if this elf took the belt. Oh, there it is. It was the yellow elf that took Santa's belt. Well, that is so silly. Well, boys and girls, let's head to the kitchen now so that we can start baking our peanut butter blossoms. Are you ready to join me? Let's go. Here we are in the kitchen, ready to start baking our peanut butter blossoms. As you can see, I gathered all of the ingredients in advance so that we're ready to go. Right now, you're taking a look at the recipe so that you can put all of your materials together as well. Now remember, boys and girls, first thing you wanna do is wash your hands. I've already done that, but you can go ahead and go wash your hands before you start working in the kitchen. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat the oven to 375 degrees. Okay, now we're ready to begin. Parents, if you have an opportunity and time to allow your kids to measure all the ingredients, that would be great. It's great math skills. But if not, to make it easier, you can have it all prearranged like this. So it's just a matter of dumping. The reason I chose this recipe is because it has a fun activity that the kids can get involved in while you're gathering all the materials. And that's taking all of your candy kisses and taking the paper off and adding them to a bowl because we're gonna need 48 little chocolate kisses. So the kids can start doing that while you're gathering all of the materials to start baking our cookies. All right, let's get going. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to add our buttery ingredients. So we are gonna add three quarters cup of creamy peanut butter into our bowl. <coughs> I have my little spatula to scrape out all that delicious peanut butter. All right. Then
Then next we're gonna add our shortening. I wanted you to see that it comes in a cube like this, and then we're going to use a half a cup of shortening. That's instead of butter. All right, that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna blend this together. In our mixer, I'm grabbing my paddle. All right. While that's mixing, I'm gonna get my sugars ready. So I'm gonna use a third cup of white sugar, granulated sugar, and a third of a cup of brown sugar. All right, that looks pretty good in there. I'm gonna add my sugars. that going. While that's mixing together, I need to go grab an egg out of the refrigerator. I'm back. Here's my egg. Let me speed this up a little bit. So it gets nicely blended. Now I'm going to crack my egg and add it to the batter. It's always good to rinse your hands after you've worked with eggs. Okay, let me mix that together. And then the last wet ingredient that we're going to add is going to be one teaspoon of vanilla. All right, now we're ready for our dry ingredients. I have my one and a half cups of flour. Then I'm going to have my teaspoon of baking soda and my half a teaspoon of salt. Now remember in some of my other baking additions that I did for you, I told you it's a good idea to whisk these ingredients together so that it blends more even, evenly in your batter. I'm gonna get my whisk. It's ready to add into my batter. All right, let's mix it together. While that's mixing, Hopefully you got all of your chocolates with their paper off, ready to go. But before we worry about the chocolates, we're gonna start shaping our dough. We want one inch balls. If you have a small scooper, you can use the small scooper or you can use a teaspoon. And then after you scoop the dough, we wanna roll it together into a little ball. So I'm gonna get my baking sheet ready. And I have my sugar, because after I roll it into a ball, I'm going to roll it into the sugar and put it on my baking tray. Here's my cookie sheet. All right, this looks ready. And I can smell the peanut butter too. I hope you like peanut butter. These are delicious cookies. Okay, so now I have my scooper. I'm gonna do a small scoop and run it up along the side. Do you see how small that is? Look at how little. All right, now I'm gonna 
roll it in my sugar, and put it on the tray. Here we go, I'm gonna keep going. Let me show you if you don't have a scooper. I'm gonna get a teaspoon. I'm gonna pick up some dough and then I'm gonna roll it like I would Play-Doh. Now I have a little ball and then I roll it in the sugar and put it on my tray. All right, let's keep going. Here we go. Here's my tray. I'm gonna put it in the oven now and we're gonna bake it for about eight minutes, maybe nine, keep an eye on it. And then you'll see what your job is when the warm cookies come out of the oven. All right, I'm gonna put them in now and I'll see you back in a little while. Hello boys and girls, we're back again and I finished baking most of the cookies. I'm gonna take the last sheet out so that you can see what your job will be when the cookies come out of the oven. All right, now the tray is hot, so you have to be very careful with this job. You're gonna take one of the chocolate kisses and gently push it on top of the cookie. As the chocolate melts, it sticks to the cookie. And that will be the finish of our peanut butter blossoms. We made 48 one inch balls. And I wanted to let you know, moms and dads, I found it works better if you roll it, even if you have a scooper because it helps pack it all together nicely. If you don't roll it before putting it in the sugar, it might be crumbly when you take it out of the oven. All right, that is it. Enjoy your peanut butter blossoms. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our time together. I know I did. And now it's time for us to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. So just smile and wink your eye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Goodbye. Well, I brought one of my friends out with me. I brought Brown Bear. But look at, he is so silly. He wanted to pretend he was one of Santa's reindeer. So he wore his reindeer antlers. Silly bear. Are you ready to blow a kiss goodbye to the kids? Okay, here we go. Mwah. Goodbye, boys and girls. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas and enjoy your peanut butter blossoms. Mmm, I know I will. Bye-bye.